Yeah, maybe I should get you a shot and have you hospitalized. Um, yeah, hold on. No, I'm busy. I'm in, no, I don't trust you anymore. Hello, bring, bring. Hold on, it's ringing. Hello, bring, bring. What's up? Oh yes, uh, I'd like to uh, to hospitalize my patient, please. And he goes, but why? And she goes, well, then why? <laughs> And I says, you know, okay, enough, enough of the pie jokes. And it, no, it wasn't like that. It was like any time you speak improper, not even just speaking out of line, like no one's spoken to or answering the question correctly. She goes, this is my office. You're paying me for, for me comforting you. Uh, why are you asking me questions anyway? Let me tell you. And, 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 and she never did come right out and said, you know what? You have mental illness. You're handicapped, disabled, schizophrenia. She never did any of that. In fact, we were on the phone one day uh, because I came to her with troubles of uh, getting DSS EVT food snaps, food stamps. And she says, well, he's, he's had all these pills for schizophrenia. And the guy says, well, does he have schizophrenia? Are the pills help? Goes, well, no, but he eats a lot of pills for schizophrenia. Uh, his prescriber's in the other room. You want to know? Click. And, and he hung up on her and she was so ready to take it out on me. I got up and, you know, I don't feel so good. I'm going to hit the head. <laughs> and I went out to the parking lot and I called everybody in my phone book, making sure the ambulance didn't pick me up in a few minutes. Because she, she ran out of steam. It, it had been two years of her lying through the teeth and never giving me a reason why. And I, and, and uh, out of.